let's start treatment. And as, as you see here, that's good, so I'm gonna go in this area. Right? So I'm gonna make my line here, this line again. I'm gonna do something a bit different here. I'm gonna put the gel on top of the skin. In this video, we're going to talk about um, the body treatment with the Hypho Classic. Now, this video has been brought by our uh, customer, so we very much thank uh, our customers to, to make this happen. Now, um, you may have already watched the video on the face treatment, but this is now focusing on the body treatment. Now, first of all, um, you've got to, to bear in mind that the cartridges that you can use for body treatments with this device are going to be the 13.0 and the 8.0. And if I remember well, there's th these only these are the only options. However, this is the most um, inexpensive um, device uh, we have. Hypho device we have is extremely good. If you've seen all the uh, um, all the other demonstrations with it, is extremely good. Especially because, as you've seen in the other videos, the software adapts to the particular uh, cartridge therefore it makes your job much easier. In terms of the body treatments instead, um, it doesn't give you uh, much help other than locating the area of the body which you're going to work on. So what I'm going to do right now in order to have this, um, this nice device to, to shut up as we, as we say politely, I'm going to insert the cartridge, the 13.0, so I'm going to press start treatment. And as, as you see here, We've got the, the belly, the inner thighs, and the outer thighs, and then this, this area here as well. Now, in terms of the consultation, in this case, uh, Leticia, our usual model, um, has gained weight lately. It's become a bit fat, and therefore is extremely suitable for this treatment. However, a year ago, she wasn't as fat, so uh, it wasn't as uh, suitable. Uh, now, uh, jokes aside, the point I'm trying to make here is that um, basically, depending on the area of the body you're working on, and the belly is one of the safe is safest, uh, you get loads of body fat. So you can actually work without any trouble at 13.0 uh, millimeters. Now, a slight parenthesis is that this device has got the deepest um, levels, 13.0, that, that is to say is um, 1.3 centimeters below the skin surface. However, there's other hypho devices like the Multiline Hypho device that goes um, down to 16 millimeters um, uh, inside, your, inside the skin. And we only have two cartridges now. For the belly, for most people that have a body fat percentage uh, up to 10%, it's not going to be a problem, especially in the UK. You're not going to have much problems with um, uh, the belly treatment. Neither would you have with um, the butt treatment. The, the, um, yeah, this is the, the one I like best. We're going to do the demonstration very shortly. It's because um, normally the, the BMI is relatively high. So you haven't got, you normally don't have any problem. However, if you find a client who's uh, adamant to have it, but is a, as a keen athlete, then the situation may be different because a, well, a professional athletes may have a body fat 5% or somewhere in the region. If that's the case and you're, you're, not, you're unable to physically uh, grab the skin and feel the fat layer, and you go directly and touch the muscles, there's no point on doing any treatment whatsoever. Say for example, if you look at my legs, for instance, there's no point on having any treatment because you go straight on to the muscles, there's no fat layer. But most people, legs, upper thighs, inner thighs, it's no problem, there's plenty of fat to go um, to, to, um, to work on. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with um, explaining how this works. 
pretty much so as you can see here we've got two depths the 8.0 and the 13.0 like in the other options if you press long on tools then you've got the same thing we've got the um, 1.5 but uh, the 13.0, uh, 4.5, 4.5 again, uh, the 8.0 and the 13.0 and you can adjust the advanced power settings there as well if you wish. So what we're going to do just for the sake of it, we're going to go to the maximum for both of it and I assume that Leticia is going to be able to stand it. We're only going to be working on, on the um, on the belly for now and then we're going to work on half of it. Now, it's very simple. Here is um, on, the, um, on, the, on the screen you'll find the, the, uh, the total number of shots. Again, especially in this case, you can actually exceed um, that number of shots if you wish. It's completely up to you. But what I'm going to be doing for the sake of this exercise, there's not right or wrong answer. You can the more shots you, you place onto your client, the more expensive the treatment is going to be because as you know, the cartridges have got a limited number of shots. In this case, we've got 5,000 shots. And namely, this cartridge, which is new, it's only got, it's got 5,095 shots remaining. And the 5,000 that you can see here is um, the, the nominal uh, amount of shots basically when it comes when the device comes normally has a bit more shots that you would actually expect so it's got 5,000 there um, and you've got two options of cartridges with this device you either have the 10,000 shots or the 5,000 shots um, cartridge these um, cartridges work in the same exact way as you've seen with the body uh, with the face treatment so when we're looking at the um, indentation, indentations here, as you as you've seen in the other videos, when we, uh, we do the, the per perspex test, we could do the same in this, but the perspex here would be much thicker. So you do not, uh, we do not actually uh, provide it as a as a standard. But it's the same thing. And then when you go and do the treatment, the um, the client will feel it as she uh, as Leticia will. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start making my nice drawings on the belly. So I'm going to take my cartridge here and I'm going to start from the middle and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to touch where the, um, the, that bone area of the, the chest is actually ending. So it's there. So I'm going to get my nice pencil. That's the wrong one back here. And then I'm going to start drawing in there. So basically the bone, I can feel the bone in there. So I'm going to go and start, and start drawing a line there. So make sure that I'm not going to go any close to the bone. close to the bone. I'm going to carry on. You cannot see it, but I'm carrying on down. And there's plenty of fat in this area here. And then I'm going to carry on with them. Um, so look. It's much better that way. So I'm going to make my line here. This thing doesn't actually work really well. To the end. You didn't turn on there. So I'm gonna use this pen. Yeah. It's better. So I'm gonna make my line. You can actually go you can actually go down as much as you want, especially if you feel it here, there's plenty of fat to go around, so it's not a problem. So basically, we're going to go down almost indefinitely. Now, here there's another bone 
which I've got to be wary of. And if you're not wary of this bone, it's going to be a bit painful. So I'm going to make another mark here as I touch that bone. So I'm not going to go over this mark. You can still feel the, the bone in there. So I'm going to make that mark in there. And if you keep pressing it, there, I can feel the bone. So make sure that I'm not going to go over it. And I can go and make the treatment here. Then I'm going to draw a line in the middle. And there. So that's the bone there. And then you can go down and join with that line. Then the next step is to take this as a measurement and draw a line of the same, pretty much of the same length, which is 25 millimeters. And then you try and make um, as straight of a line as possible. As straight of a line as possible. And in the same, I do apologize for uh, my drawing skills. Um, I wasn't, I've, I've actually been failed at drawings when I, uh, when I was at school. I'm not the best drawers. So, and you, and you carry on, 25 mil, 25 mil, and make another line. And so on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, and make another line. And carry on with another 25 mil, 25 mil, make a straight line, and so on. I'll look in there, there we are with that, and another, another 25 mil, a 25 mil in there approximately, and you make another straight line, then make another 25 mil, 25 mil in there approximately, and on you go. So I'm going to make the treatment up until there, right? And then what you, we do with the, with the head, we're just going to start from here. We're going to go down, 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 and I'm going to make as many shots as possible. I'm going to go and make the shots one millimetre apart, um, approximately. It's going to take a while, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And we're not going to do the other half because it's going to be the same as this half. So this is as an example. So I'm going to give it a start. And then energy, I'm gonna go a minimum to start with to make sure that it's not gonna to be too painful. And then we're gonna go up. And remember that I've actually upped the, um, the overall energy here by 50%. So if it's a bit too uncomfortable, there is that one and that one, because I'm gonna use these two cartridges. If that is too much, then I'm, I'm going to uh, reduce that uh, energy. But that, if, if you can see what, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to change the, uh, the power setting from this, this uh, user in, uh, interface. And then you can actually do it uh, either. You can either start working on, um, start placing the gel on the, um, on the cartridge or you can put it on the body if you wish. I'm gonna do it on the cartridge. I'm gonna start uh, firing. Is it police? Yeah, thanks. It's not firing. Yeah, it's because I had to press ready. Oh, okay. It was a bit too painful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to, and this is minimum energy. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm going to go on to there, I'm going to decrease the energy to 0%, I'm going to decrease that to 0%, it's really, really painful. I'm going to go ready. I'm going to start again and see how she feels. 
，可以吗？有点痛啊，是吗？等一下，跟他们跟他 ，is a bit painful， is a bit painful， 确定吗？痛啊啊！没有脚，有有脚的，有脚的，因为太太厉害了。So is a bit even at the minimum power level that we've got at the moment is a bit too painful. Uh, still, <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing, <coughs> I'm going to go into the advanced settings. I'm going to make it minus 50% for both cartridges. And again, like in the face treatment, in the same way, what you're looking to do is start into the minimum parts at the minimum part setting, and see where she's comfortable at. So, and then we're going to increase there uh, thereafter. Ah, she's got a cold. So now I'm going to start again. Press. Ready? Can you? Okay. Oh, I can lower a little bit. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Lower a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I can actually increase it by two notches, so that she can stand it. Okay, ma? Okay, just a little bit, ma. Okay, she doesn't want to to have it stronger. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna work at this level. So you can actually see that this is a, a very very powerful device, <coughs> and then you've seen the dents that this causes on. On um, what do you call it? On the um, on the perspex. So, so I'm going to start from the top, and then I'm going <coughs> to displace the cartridge by approximately one millimeter. And then, if you if you're asking what the best um, distance between the dots is. I believe it to be one millimeter because you get the maximum con concentration of density of high full shots. So I prefer it to to work at the minimum distance between the spots and the dots. And as you can see, I'm, there, I'm just displacing it by one millimeter. Hi, Kanjudanama. So she's feeling it. But uh, other um, um, previously that was done by using anesthetics. As you can see, this is a very very powerful device. We're no anywhere near the maximum power level. Nowhere, no anywhere near it. And the good thing about it is, um, it's very safe. Even if you go really really strong, it does not matter because you're only destroying um, adipose tissue, tissue. So you're not causing potentially any 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 problem and as, as you can see here actually the the two lines are exactly where the 25 millimeter um, lines on the cartridges are, are lying and this is the only purpose of drawing these um, these lines on the body to make sure that you cover it in the best possible way Hai ganjo da mamma? Tai to mamma? Hmm? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Going to add a bit more gel. So, and it feels like as if somebody is um, is placing. Uh, needles, sticking needles into your skin, deep inside your skin. Um, that's, that's the sort of feeling you get. And then the, the higher the energy, uh, the higher the, the power level, the more, the more painful those needles, so to speak. So. Up. 
So I'm going to do it twice on this uh, on this part. Already 52 shots. Can you do that, So I'm trying to display this between one millimeter and two millimeters. So it's a very, very easy treatment. And in this area, I know it's a bit too painful in there. Kima. So basically, if you do it, and um, if you don't move, say for example, if I'm, I'm, I'm firing a shot here, and I fire again in the same place, it's gonna be, on the second time, it's gonna be quite painful. It's because basically we've already this, um, done a bit of destruction, so the second time <coughs> is, is more painful. So you still have to, to keep moving the, uh, the headpiece, and I prefer it. So she's saying that it's getting a bit too painful. And it's obvious why, because we've already gone through this area. So. So we're gonna, so because we've actually gone through this area, the second time is a bit more painful. If we go over the same area uh, three times, it becomes even more painful and so on. Yeah. place the cartridge. Oh, okay. It's a bit too painful over there. Sorry? Yo, ah, yo. Oh, so it's too painful over there. So we're just gonna, we're gonna stop it there. So look, there. And we're gonna start working from the bottom again, on the other line. Again, is a very, very powerful device. So it's not possible to even work at the minimum power level um, when, so look, now it's not painful because I haven't actually gone through this area again. Hmm? <coughs> Ni你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你
，我们有点低的，对，也是最低的，差不多是最低的。So she's asking me what was the the power level in this? Pretty much is、um, almost the the lowest power setting with the the threshold, the advanced threshold at minus fifty percent. So you can tell how strong this device is. It's really really strong. And it's good that I've drawn that line, so I cannot go over the bone. But even then, yeah, yeah, I can actually feel the bone. So if I actually was over it, if I was over it, you should actually feel it. And it wouldn't be a nice feeling at all. So I'm going to go down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go twice over the same area. Can you do that, Emma? And that's just there.、Uh, Something that、um, once you've done it for the first time is very very easy. <coughs> That's good. So gonna go in this area, right? And then you rest assured that、um, your customers are going to to really feel it. So because this is a very powerful device, you can actually go as strong as you as you want. And it's not it's like having a Ferrari.、Um, you can go 200 miles an hour or over, but、um, pretty much you cannot use that car any anywhere on the road. And it's the same here. If you wanted to use a maximum power, you can, but they cannot stand it. Once you you try, they're gonna just jump around. It's not it's not possible.、It、cannot stand it. So powerful. So the only way that you could actually do it is by using、um, topical anesthetics.、Uh, not topical anesthetics.、Um, local anesthetics. You didn't talk much, ma. It's been a. Go up again. Okay, ma. The tongue, ma. The tongue, ma. So the second time when I'm going over the same area again is a bit more painful. It's because the damage has been already done. So, okay, ma. So I've actually gone to the minimum power setting of the device. To make it bearable, minimum power setting with minus 50%. So that <clears throat> this way you do understand what that、uh, advanced power setting is for, and it's quite useful because you can really, really go, really, really drive it hard if you if you want to use anesthetics. And again, this is a very, very safe treatment. Even if you if you use the very very high power levels, it's very little that can go wrong. But then you still would need to use to,、um, local anesthetics for it because it, no one can actually stand、uh, this treatment at maximum power level without anesthetics. It's too it's too strong. It's actually destroying tissue like no other. And once again, watch the、um, perspex test video for more information about that. Now, I'm going to go into this other line.
So she's feeling it. She's contracting her muscles. She's feeling it. Can you? Now is the lowest. This is starting to get really high, right? This is really the lowest. Ah? 真的是最低的。嗯、OK， she can buy a bit。这样呢？对、嗯。可以吗？<coughs> We're quite close to the end of the treatment. Going to the second, to almost the last line. No, it's not a last line. We've still got two line, two, one. Two, three, three lines to on the on the Tommy to go over. Now, at the moment, I'm displacing myself by three three millimeters approximately, but then I'm going to go up again. So, going to cover the area twice. 可以吗？嗯，应该这边，这边，这边，这边。So she's saying that、uh, if I if I press it a bit more, it's not as painful. If I don't press it, it becomes quite quite painful. She's feeling it. Kima. Okay, I'm going to go up again. Try to displace it after every shot because otherwise it's too painful. I'm 
to show you where we are with it. That's where we are. Actually finished. I mean, if you want, now what she, what she could do, she could turn that way and we could actually work on this area, but we're not going to do it. It's just um, a very easy process to do and so you have an idea how to perform the treatment. But basically, let me see it. The key, key jammer. Ah. We're going to show you how it will actually be done. Basically, she would stand this way and then you carry on here and it still fire the shots up to here. Up to here. Here there's the bone, so you actually stop it there. So you can actually carry on that way. As you've seen throughout the treatment, so you carry on. This way and then you go this place by one or two millimeters and carry on and carry on and carry on and so on. So I'm not going to do it, that's, that's enough, but, but pretty much you should have the idea of how that would actually uh, get done. Okay, so that's good. So we're ready, let me see just a second, get, if you just place yourself that way. So we're going to get rid of this, um, of this gel. How do you feel? It's okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Gonna go and do the butt with it. Just the elbow is not actually shown there, but you like something that I'm forgetting is um, you would do the the actual the rest the same thing, exact the same thing as you've done here, with also first first you do it with a 13.0, and then you repeat it with uh, the 8.0, it's very, very simple, 8.0. Perfect. So we can turn around, turn around, Fangulai, Fangulai. Fangulai, jump to Fangulai, then that way, now we've got the button there. Shufuma. So <laughs> we've got this very uh, good site here and we're going to do the, the bump treatment and so look. So this is the um, total number of shots that we've, uh, we've fired. Although the software does not show us it, you can actually do this on the back, no problem. And in, in this case, although she's um, uh, she plays sports. I mean, there's a, some adipose tissue in there, so we can actually show you how this is done. So in here, we've got to feel the bones. At the moment, the only bone that you're uh, uh, wary of is this one, which is in the middle. You cannot feel much in there, so it's pretty much safe. You can go feel it. There's nothing there, so it's fine. So we can actually do the treatment and we're gonna make the marks markings as we've done using the cartridge if you wish so it's 25 mil 25 mil 
die for L. And then you go and make that line. And again, 25 L, 25 L, 25 L. Go make that line. Then again, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil. Go ahead and make that line. Again, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil. Go ahead and make that line again. and so on. So I'll look if I can actually show you this. Better show it. Can I carry on? So 25mm, 25mm, 25mm. Then go make that, sorry, make that line again. Again, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil. Go ahead and make that line. Again, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil. Go ahead and make that line again. Again, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil, go ahead and make that line. And again, we're going to start the process, but the point here is that <coughs> when we go towards that area, when we're treating that area, then she should actually be on, on her side. But we're only going to start using the, doing the treatment here, here, and there, up to this area and then we're going to stop. But you've got the gist of it. Uh, here there's lots of adipose tissue so we haven't got any problem whatsoever. It's not, although it could be a bit um, painful uh, because of the, the high power of the device, it's quite, it's a very, very safe area. And then um, the percentage of body fat that we're talking about in Leticia's case, we're talking about maybe in the region of 15%. So we're, uh, we're quite safe. Way. So we're not going to um, uh, do much to the muscles in there. So we're going to start with the treatment. I'm going to reset. We're going to start from zero. Okay, let's see the settings. Okay. I'm gonna do again. Place the uh, gel. Okay, beautiful. So it's actually starting. And then I'm gonna start applying it there. Tonga, Kima, Kima, Kuitiama. Eh? Okay, so I can, she can tolerate it, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to up it by two notches. Kaima. So again, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to go down by two to three millimeters. I suggest you do it by one. And then make a shot. And I'm going to go back up again. Felt it. <coughs> Kima. Zima. Tatonga ma. Okay, Zima. It's 
why she's feeling it. So again, you can actually go and fire more shots if you wish. But the more you, you fire, the more costly the treatment. The treatment, and also you can you can charge by the shots if you wish. It's up to you. Carry on and carry on and carry on. Okay, and she's feeling it. Now we're going to go and carry on on this line again. I'm going to do something a bit different here. I'm going to put the gel on top of the skin. This time instead, this is for a change. Gonna carry on this other part. Put 
and 93 shots, 94. Again. So, and then we're going to go to this other area, and that's the last one we're going to do. But then, basically, what we we'll actually need to do is get it, get it to one side and get carry on with this part of the of the of the buttocks. So that's the last one I'm going to do for uh, the sake of this uh, this training. But it's very very straightforward and then basically for the whole area we're talking about in the region of 200 to 300 shots with one cartridge then you do the the 13.0 and then you follow up with the 8.0 so 300 to, to uh, 200 to 300 for this for this part and then again 2 to 300 for the, the 8.0 and the same on the other side So she's feeling it. What was is going to what's going to happen is I'm actually hitting a nerve in there. Tongama, Janda, Tongama. Okay. So she's. Uh, I'm sure there's a nerve in there. So we put that in minimum. Kima. So basically, Kima. <coughs> so because you're going deep into the skin, every now and then you can actually hit a nerve. And I'm hitting it there. Kima. So I'm, as I'm going to go down again, I'm going to hit again. Just going to feel it. And that's pretty much it for, for this area. <coughs> so if we were to do a, a client would actually do up until here, but this is So we'd actually get her on our side and carry on up to, to here, then on her side and carry on and so on. If she's too thin, then you'll actually feel the bone, but that's not the that's not the uh, of a problem. So you do, you do it that way, and then that's pretty much it. We are you actually finish. That's pretty much it. Then you've got what is it? Then what we're going to do right now? We're going to make in this case the inner thighs. In this case we're just going to draw the inner thighs and the inner thigh and in here. That's what we're going to do, but we're not going to do the treatment in, in Leticia's case because here there's muscles. She's not that. Um, they're, they're, I would actually hit the muscles immediately, so there's no point on doing anything here. Maybe there would be a bit of point here because there's still a bit of fat in there, 
nest in, in the inner thighs, but not um, in the outer thighs. So I'm gonna make the drawing, see whether I can actually show it to you. Um, actually need to. Yes, I think it's possible to show it. So, let's have a look. Gonna get it that way. Perfect. So the same thing applies to here. So what, what you would do, made the drawing, 25. And you actually follow through, 25, 25mm. There and you go another 25 mil. Sorry, I just got it wrong. 25, 25, 25, and again. And depending on the amount of fat that we're talking about, even could even go there, no problem. It's 25. Let's assume it's 25. That's pretty much it. Then this area here, this area is a no-no. So any joints, the knees, say from, from for example, all this buttocks is no problem. So you've got to feel the um, the bones and the buttocks, there's no bones, so you're okay. Here, there's no, there's no bones. Even if you got it wrong and you treated somebody with low body fat, it's not going to be a big issue because you hit the muscles and the muscles are not going to be a problem. But if you if you hit, hit the um, the joints or some bones or here, it's going to be a bit painful. So what you want to do is up until here, you're okay. But when you're doing treatment, say for example, certain software <coughs> of other devices, iPhone devices, also allow you to to do the treatment here, which is okay. But once again, bear in mind that when you're consulting the client, you've got to look at the BMI and see what you're dealing with. In this case, Leticia could benefit from some treatment here because of some fat over there. In the other thighs, you can do the same thing. So say, you just draw lines in there. And if the, um, your client is quite overweight, you can have any problem by treating the whole leg. It's not a problem whatsoever. And then uh, obviously the cost of the treatment would be would go up according to the area and the number of shots that you would actually fire. Um, that's pretty much it. Now we're going to have a look at the, again, Leticia is quite a rare case because she's uh, playing sports all the time, so she doesn't have lots of fat to go around other than the, the belly area and uh, she's uh, gained some weight um, last year. So, uh, But in some cases then you can actually go and do treatment in this area. Uh, in other parts of the body but and also on this part of the of the arms where there's a lot of fat going around but again Latisa is not she doesn't have loads of fat to go around over there so that's pretty much it so to to summarize it body treatments are very easy um, there's very very little risk although you're using cartridges that are quite deep. First of all, you use the 13.0 and then you use the 18 point, the 8.0. What you've got to watch is um, if people have a BMI of 10% or below, then you've got to be a bit careful because what you find is in areas where the software tells you to, that you can actually treat, sometimes uh, there's not a lot of body fat in there. And the 13.0 uh, goes inside the skin quite deep and it goes into the, on the fat layer in many instances. But because it goes deep, um, in case um, your clients are quite athletic and they don't have a lot of fat to go around in certain areas, you would not go in these areas. So if you have, if you're dealing with somebody with uh, body fat of 10, 15% or above, it's usually not a problem. The, the higher the, the BMI, the, the more overweight the, the may be, the safer the treatment because I've got a lot of fat layers to, um, that you can actually treat and, uh, and tighten. So basically, the claim is not liposuction. It's not 
uh, a fat loss treatment because it's not. It's actually targeting uh, areas where are quite difficult to target with exercise. And this is what HIFO is meant to do, is to tighten and <coughs> make um, those areas um, look better in terms of tightness where you cannot target with exercise um, properly. Um, so that's, I think this is all for this um, video. Should you have any questions, please let us know. A special thanks go to, again to our customers who made this video um, possible. To Leticia, of course, she's, uh, she's there sleeping at the moment. Obviously, this, uh, this treatment, I made it as relaxing as possible for her. But you can actually make it quite, uh, quite strong if you wish. You've got a device here, which is um, very, very powerful. So as you've seen, um, Leticia hasn't been able to withstand it at high power levels, or not even medium power levels. We had to drop the power level by 50% in order to make it tolerable, tolerable for her. Originally, these treatments were made uh, using uh, topical, uh, not topical anesthetics, local anesthetics. That is possible. Um, we advise only doctors to do that, but um, if you want to be safe, use it without any anesthetics whatsoever. So you have the pain threshold which will indicate where um, you're actually going to be really strong. So if you have any questions, please let us know and many thanks for watching.